But for the for that lower piece, yeah. uh, the lower part on the piece, I felt like it. questions and whatever, you know, don't have to make a performance, but... Yeah, let's see how it goes here.
No, I think the stuff before this B comes in could be even just really gentler. Maybe should have, I should have gone all the way down to P there. But, um, yeah, a couple, yeah, there's a couple like te technical spots, but um, they basically. Yeah, plain, plain cold? Yeah, sounds yeah. good. Yeah. It sounds really good. Yeah, no, it's, it, no, it's really, this is, this is great. This is definitely as far as along as those other guys, and, and kind of more to my taste. Great. Um, yeah, so where do we take it down to piano? Did, did, is this really particularly difficult? It, it seemed like maybe... I'm, I'm still getting my fingers yeah, around yeah. it. But, uh, it seemed to me though it wasn't really a dynamic decision, but just like yeah, a little bit of grabbing. Kind of getting it. And, this, and when this B comes in, this is suddenly making... This should be like very feathery in here. Okay. So I'm wondering, I'm not sure. Um, we can look at this again. Let's see. What, what are they... I have you coming up here at 160. Yeah. Well, we can take it from someplace. Can you take it from the mezzo piano? Which one? 64? Yeah. Okay. Or even two bar. Or the one that I Sense? 
Yeah. Having it so short. And it, I mean, as it says, it's the beginning of. Yeah. yeah, and it even happens naturally with the open string. Yeah. Whenever the open string gets in play, it's <laughs> yeah. you know more pronounced. Yeah. But also, but it wants to, you know, the tough thing about this is final that, thing. Yeah, you have to keep the dynamic, the, and especially with the low E, and especially with the last ball, you got to be careful not to let these open strings. There, there are always some sort of secondary. Yeah. Like at the beginning, that low, that low E that's in five sixteen. Mm -hmm. It's like it can't really ring too big, or it'll just, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and here this this E is definitely like should be a step back from the main melody. Okay. Um, some places I, I I even mention that like. Yeah, with the well, open one, E it's one thirty. Yeah, one thirty and one thirty three to pull out that that tenor. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, the other ones can be more ethereal than that. At one thirty-three, that's kind of ball, ball duh, 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 it's kind of a chunk of chunk of <laughs> yeah. rock reference in a, in a funny way. I mean, it's kind of hard to make that happen. struck me here. The, the problem I had with um, what Seth was doing, and David wasn't doing it so much, is that there was this kind of incidental, like moment-to-moment -moment rubato thing happening. I kept noticing there, I even marked a couple places where I thought maybe I should do, put in a like, a little fermata, but, you know, pochissimo, like mm -hmm. really little. Uh, the, 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 I think this lends itself to sort of like cadential pauses. As yeah. opposed no, to you have me. Yeah. But That's no, where you not put all. Ralentando. Yeah, yeah. It's a sort of, sort of like a kind of Baroque cadential thing rather than a nineteenth century omnipresent um, gravy deep kind of <laughs> kind of Chopin y uh, right, right. thing. So yeah, I had a couple of notes. Please. Let me go through. Oh, by the way, we'll have to try this before we leave. One forty uh, one, one forty. 